Therefore let us all, seeing who are we compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily, easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Look it unto Jesus the author and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider how much that hath endured such gainsaying of sinners against himself, that ye wax not weary, fainting in your souls. Ye have not yet resisted unto the blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortations which reasoneth with you as with sons. My son regarded not lightly the chastening of the Lord, nor faith when thou art reproved of him. For whom the Lord loveth he chasteth, and scourge every son whom he receiveth. It is for the chastening that ye endure, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is it there who his father chasteneth not? But if ye are without chastening, whereof all have been made partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons? Furthermore, we had fathers of our flesh to chasten us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of the spirits, and live? For they indeed for a few days chasten us seem good to them. But he for our profit, that we are partakers of his holiness, all chasten, seamless for the present, to be not joyous, but grievous, yet afterwards with it yieldeth peaceable fruit unto them that have been exercised thereby, even the fruit of righteousness. Wherefore lift up the hands that hand down, and how his knees, and make straight paths for your feet, and that which is lame be not, turned out of the way, but rather be healed. Follow after the peace with all men, and the sanctification without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking carefully, lest there be any man that falleth short of the grace of God, lest any root and bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby the many be defiled, lest there be any fornication or profane person as Esau, for oneness of meat sold his own birthright. For ye know that even when afterwards desirous to inherit the blessings, he was rejected, for he found no place for a chance of mind in his father, though sought and diligent with tears. For ye had not come unto a mount that might be touched, and that burn with fire unto blackness, and darkness and tempest, and the sound of the trumpet, of the voice of the words, which the voice that heard entreated that no word more should be spoken unto them, for they could not endure that which was enjoined. If even a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned. And so fearful was the appearance that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem and the innumerable host of angels to the general assembly of the church of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, to the God judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus the mediator, of a new covenant and to the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better than that of Abel. See that you refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not when they refused him that warned them on earth, much more shall not we escape who turn away from him that warneth from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now hath promised, saying, Yet once more will I make to tremble not the earth only, but also the heaven and this word. Yet once more significantly, the removing of those things that are shaken, as of the things that have been made, 
that those things which are not shaken may remain. Wherefore receiveth a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us have grace whereby we may offer service well pleasing to God with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. This was the book of Hebrews chapter 12.